This session is about river basins, also known as drainage basins. This is a sink or wash basin. Now the way a wash basin works is that all the water going into the wash basin is funneled down the sides and into the plug hole. And this is very, very similar to the way a river basin works. A river basin is an area of land drained by a river and its streams that run into it. Now I'll see if I can show you where the river basins are on this picture diagram here. Here's a house, here's a person, here are two rivers at the bottom of two valleys. Now, if a bit of rain falls out of the sky like that, most likely it'll go into this river. It could flow over the land, it could go down into the ground and flow through the ground like that, but eventually it'll end up in this river. If a drop of rain falls out of the sky over here, it will do the same, it will run into this river. However, if a drop of rain falls out of the sky and lands here, it will run into this river. So what we can say is that between this point here and between this point here, all drops of water that land on this air of land will drain, will go into this river. So this river's basin is between this point and between this point. This diagram here is another view of a river basin. So the river basin is within this dotted line. You've got the hills around the edge, the sea here, and the river snakes or meanders its way down towards the sea. Now the way this river basin works is if a drop of water landed here, it would go down the hill and it wouldn't go into our river. Whereas if the drop of water landed on this side, it would flow down the hill and into our river. So this is our river basin. Now a few important words. Where a river starts is known as the source. Where a river ends and it meets the sea, that is the river mouth. A smaller stream or river joining a larger one is known as a tributary. And the place where the two rivers or streams actually join each other, that is known as a confluence. So here two streams join each other, that is a confluence. The trench that a river flows in going down to the sea, that is called a river channel. The dotted line around the edge, the edge of the river basin, that's known as the watershed. And the entire area within the dotted line, that is our river basin. Here is a real drainage basin. Now this is the river basin of the Amazon, um, courtesy of Wikipedia. Um, let's just see what we've got here. So the mouth of the mighty river Amazon is over here in the Atlantic Ocean. So all of the rivers or streams, tributaries are heading down this way towards the mouth. Now there are many sources of the rivers, river Amazon. This source region is in Colombia, here the source region is in Venezuela, in Guyana and Suriname and French Guyana. It also starts in Ecuador, there's sources of the River Amazon here in Peru, likewise in Bolivia. Now, let's have a look for tributaries. So, the River Madeira is a tributary of the Amazon, it runs down and then joins it as with the Japura, as with the Negro, as with the Branco, etc. Where these rivers join, these are the confluences. So everything within yellow is the river basin of the River Amazon.